Hello guys, welcome back to KDT Fishing and welcome to episode 4, round 2 of the bait off. This is Rod Hutchinson versus Nash Bates. And if you didn't see the last episode, the coconut cream against the force from Rod Hutchinson drew 1-1. And um, I'll put a link down in the description below if you want to go and check that episode out. I caught a shock of a fish on a boilie. Which was pretty crazy, but it was, you know, fun. And I was quite happy with, with that, you know, on the force. But now it's time to decide which one of these baits is going to stay on as the winner. So we're going to a brand new lake. I've never fished this lake before. And until last night, I never knew about it. I put a comment on a Facebook group. And uh, there, was, there was a few guys shared some locations with me. So I was quite pleased with that. Because it was one of two types of fishing either a it was cruising fishing i know a lake that's got some big cruisings in and i do want to target them eventually or b it was this round two normally sea fishing would be a contender but there is no tackle shop open local to me meaning i can't get bait however i might be able to get bait for tuesday so fingers crossed but anyway i'm going to start my engine i'm going to get going get to the lake i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you stick around to the end to find out who wins let me know down in the comments section below which one you want to face the winner i've had a few mentions already sticky baits uh, nash tutti frutti cc more um and yeah i'm happy to to hear more suggestions anyway let's get going if you do like the video please leave a like on it as it helps the channel out a lot and if you're new around here then please subscribe let's get going Alright guys, I'm at the lake now. I've chosen my peg, which I'll turn around and show you in a minute. But first thing, first thoughts are, I'm nervous. <laughs> the reason for that is a, a guy on the comments from Facebook last night went out of his way to private message me, connect with me on Messenger, share some pictures of fish he's had and tell me a little bit of the lake rumours, uh, which is there's catfish in here. He wasn't sure how many or how big they go. He said he thinks the, the biggest caught so far is about 19 pound, but there could be bigger in here. Now that's what makes me nervous because if I get a 20 plus pound carp or catfish, the swim I'm in is carpy as hell, which I'll show you in a minute, but it's, it's gonna be hard to get a big fish in. Let me turn the camera around and show you. So it's like a corner peg on the lake straight away you've got trees in the water to your to your left and right island lily pads over there now if i catch a big fish and it goes that way i'm fine it gives me enough room to put some pressure on it and turn it around if it goes that way however i am screwed that is a little like gully through the through the island and the, the edge of the lake. Now we're meant to get 40 mile per hour winds today, so I wanted to fish a little bit out of the wind if I could. But then this just looks so good. I mean, look at it. It's friggin' stunning. I want to fish around here with both rods. And I'm going to start setting up now. I'll speak to you in a minute when we're, we've got the rods ready. Both rods are now ready to get the bait on and and get cast in. I'm just going to do a couple of things before I do that. I'll show you what it is that I am doing. It's one of the things I forgot last time was my cord and crusher, which I usually have with me, but it's been a, it's been that long since I properly carp fished, I just, I 
cleaned all my gear recently, but it was a bit all over the place. There's the floss, and there's the coconut cream. They're in a bag like this because they were in a five kilo bag. I uh, split them up. It might look like a load of crap, but trust me guys, this is ruthless bait. Let's get my hands washed. Right, I'll show you the setup of both rigs. Both again with a sliding method feeder. The swivel pushes in a little bit, but as soon as you get a take, the strength of the fish taking it pulls that out. So if I am to get snagged, the fish is not going to be trailing any sort of weight lead. And then I've shortened the hook link to about seven inches, and it's to a size six ace with a bait screw and a quarter kicker again. I'm going to do this to both rods and then we'll get them cast out. And then with the bait, I'm just going to cut them down a little bit. Trim basically that top layer where the boil is dried out. I like to do this just, you know, it's like fishing with a 12mm boiler then. And, uh, it gives it that fresh coating of, hopefully, scent. And bombs away. Do the same with the force, and then we'll get it in. Right, so both rods are in. As you just seen, we're all ready to go. Kickoff has begun. It's like a football match. Just longer than 90 minutes. Still can't believe in that last episode that I had a pike on, on the force. Mental. And, um... The screaming run I had as well, I, I wish I'd have, I'd have hit that earlier. It's just sometimes it's so worth being sat right on your rods, which is what I am now. I'm literally, my rod, I can reach my rod from here, which is perfect. That's what it did last time, but twice. I think it is just them having a go at the, um, the method. Or maybe something small is trying to pick the boiler up. Keep getting this kind of action in the swim though and it'll soon attract the carp, something bigger. They'll want to see what's up. Left rod has calmed down a bit now. Right rod is, is still going. I struck into one of these pools in a minute. I stood above the rod ready. If you keep watching the bobbin on the right. When it gave a decent pull, I struck and absolutely nothing. The only thing this is going to do is kill the batteries in my bite lamps.
right, sorry about the sun guys. My feelings were right. It is roach. Which technically means Nash coconut cream is winning. Whether it counts or not, I don't know. We'll see. Right, it's 11 o'clock. Still no carp. Still being plagued by them roach. And um, obviously with this being a smaller water, I only wanted carp to count today. But if all we end up with is roach, then um, should it count? I think I'll let you guys decide that. We'll see at the end, see what happens. It's 11 o'clock. Swim's still alive. I've thrown some boilies in now as well, just over the top of the rods. A mixture of both boilies. And uh, we'll see how it goes. My God. Well, oh my goodness, pestered by roach all day and then hopefully the GoPro picked up. I got a take, playing the fish and the other rod went. Friggin' hell, I thought the force has got it here and then coconut cream went. <laughs> I'm just going to show you one of the fish quick and then I can get one of them back. There's the first one. on the force and here's the second one definitely bigger it's one all again unless we count the roach and then it's 2-1 to the coconut cream let's get the rod back out See if we can finish this. Oh, my God. I honestly can't believe it. The GoPro is still recording from them first two fish. Literally within seconds of putting the the Nash coconut cream out, we get another one. It's two one, beautiful. And it's a mirror. Two commons and then a mirror. Let's get the rod back out. I'm gonna keep the GoPro recording at this rate. Well guys. It's been a while since them fish, since that mad five minutes. <laughs> it's still 2-1 to Nash Coconut Cream. But there is an hour left, max. 40 minutes left. And then I've got a, 
I've got to pack up and I've got to get going. So literally, 40 minutes for either the force to catch up or for Nash Coconut Cream to take the bait off championship. What's it gonna be? Lads are still in guys, but literally got 20 minutes left. <clears throat> still can't believe that 10 minutes of madness. There was a, a few points throughout this afternoon where I just nearly packed up and went. I'm just constantly pestered by either small fish or cray or I'm not sure what, what was going on, but it was just mental, non-stop. I was thinking to myself, I'm going to hear my bite alarms bleeping in my sleep at this rate. But yeah, as it stands, Nash Coconut Cream 2, free with the roach. Rod Hutchinson, the force, one. Don't forget guys, if you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it, subscribe, click the button down below, leave your comments, leave your suggestions for who should face the winner of these two. And you can also follow me on social media, links also in the description. Come on, one more fish, just not a draw. That's it guys. Game over. It is game over. Nash Coconut Cream is the champion. I'm kind of glad in some ways. You know, the force has caught me some really good fish, but, but you know, it's nice to mix it up, have a new champion, choose another bait to go against something that's not been in every video since this started. I'm happy with how the day turned out. It's nice to see some carp again, just after spawning. We'll definitely be targeting some bigger carp once some of the other lakes start to open, so stay tuned for that. But that's it guys. As always, thank you for watching. Leave your likes, leave your comments, subscribe, and we'll see you in another bait off very, very soon. Thank you.